What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff, I'm the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today, we have a super cool pistol. I've had this gun for a minute now and I haven't had a chance to do the review, but this is the new Walther F-Series. Uh, this is a very unique pistol in regards to who it was marketed to. We're gonna talk about that here in a minute. We're also gonna talk about some of the features of the pistol, some pros and cons that I personally have on the pistol, then I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on the new Walther F-Series. Boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Walther F-Series. Before we get into this video, let me share with you a little bit about what we do at RDR. We are a soft goods manufacturer. We specialize in plate carriers, chest rigs, holster mods, holster wraps, a full line of holster accessories for the Safari Line Duty holsters, all of which you can find on our website at rdrgear.com. You can also see all those products on our social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram, and of course, this YouTube channel. With all that out the way, let's talk about the Walther F-Series. This pistol doesn't have a lot out there on it. Um, if you had not known about this pistol, uh, the Walther F-Series was a pistol that was marketed, I don't wanna say for a female shooter, but it was driven to the smaller hands. And how they did that was, if you notice how deep this beaver tail is right here, what this did was it put the hand, when you index the pistol, it put the trigger finger closer to the trigger. So you'll notice I have a, not a huge hand, but I don't have a small hand, but I have very long fingers. So if I naturally grab this pistol and I put my finger in the trigger, you'll see what happens how much finger I have on the other side. So when I shoot the F-Series, which I shoot well, I have to kind of know where I put the pad of my trigger finger. So I do have some gapping through here, but not a ton. Uh, the pistol is very small compared to the other pistols. It is a full-size frame, taking the full-size magazine. They make this in the three and a half, which this one is, and then they make this in the four-inch version as well. Both are the F-Series pistols, and the F-Series doesn't really change anything as far as this portion goes. It's really what you're looking at through here, from rear of frame to face of trigger. It does come with multiple back straps. You can kind of change it out based on your uh, hand size. Uh, and that's it. We're gonna talk about some pros and cons here in a minute, because I do have two gripes with the pistol, but I'll share that here shortly. Uh, Performance-wise, the gun shoots the lights out. Uh, I really believe these Walther triggers um, that are on the pistols, I don't think you really gotta go to the Walther dyna Dynamic triggers uh, or in the Pro Series triggers they come with now. I feel, and I know people are gonna think this is weird, but I feel the triggers like get better with time, kind of like wine, right? My four inch model, full size PDP, the trigger, I think that trigger is better than any of the dynamic triggers that you can get and put in the pistols, any of the aftermarket triggers you can put in the pistols. That thing just, it breaks like glass. It really shoots well and the trigger is phenomenal. I wouldn't put an aftermarket trigger in that particular gun. Um, and you guys will probably see a comparison video down the road between these two but this trigger really does shoot well. Um, the reset is very minimal right there, and that's it. So you guys will see, watch this trigger break. Reset, right there. So it's super clean, uh, and it shows on the target. Uh, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Uh, I only have two, all right? Um, I don't like the fact that when you get these guns, you've gotta send off for the plate kind of bugs me. Uh, and that's probably not really a pro or cons more by a personal nitpick because this is a V2 plate. On the F series, it is a different mounting plate than the standard Walther PDP. So if you, for example, the plates for my four inch don't work on this, this doesn't work on the four inch. Uh, so you do have to get a version two mounting plate. Uh, and again, it, I would like to see it come with the standard, maybe the RMR footprint only plate. But at the end of the day, that's really my only gripe there. Uh, the other is the sights. I would really like to see this pistol come with something a little better, maybe a suppressor height compatible sight since it is in red dot holster, or red dot pistol, excuse me. I know sometimes when I say that in other videos, you guys gripe on me a little bit. Not everybody's gonna run a red dot. It's a red dot cut pistol. Red dots aren't a future, red dots are now, right? That's just, that's just a fact. That's not me saying it, that's just, 
honest feedback from the world, my customer base, my research, my data, but at the end of the day, I would like to have maybe a suppressor height site compatibility out the box versus getting new ones. Um, but that's, that's, you know, my only real gripe or a pro and con if you want to call it, but um, the pistol is phenomenal. Walter did an amazing job. It comes with two magazines, uh, both 15 round magazines. Um, <clears throat> you can put the 18 rounders in there as well. You can put the magwell on there as well. Um, the lights fit the TR7 subs. They stick out a little bit, but not too much there. Um, I've got the Hollow Sun. I think this is what the 50. I think it's the 507 on this one here. Um, I like it. Uh, I have a green as well, but today I have the red on there. But man, for a carry gun, if you're into the Walther PDP, I think the grip angle is a phenomenal one. And my final thoughts on this pistol for a small hand, it's tough, right? Because if you have a small hand, maybe your small stature, this one here with this 15 round frame, uh, maybe it's a little big, but for a range use gun, I think that's a good to go. Uh, for, for us men, um, if you've got a smaller hand or you're understanding how you're gonna work this trigger with it being, uh, when you put the finger full finger in there, close all the gaps off, you've got a little bit of excess finger here, you're gonna have to come off the gun a little bit. So that's my only thing there. But if you're looking for your Walther PDP, that's your USPSA gun, your duty gun, you wanted something off duty to match or a concealed carry pistol, I think the Walther F series is flat out a great option. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with that at all. So if you guys like the Walther series, you're gonna love the Walther F series as well. As I mentioned earlier guys, if you've made it this far in the video, like, share, comment, Interact with the channel, I'll interact with you guys. It's gonna help YouTube algorithm show you more RDR content, more 2A content, and more channels like this one. As always, we post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week at 4 p.m. Set your watch to it, subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate the support. Have a great weekend. Till next time, take care.